What's up guys, welcome back to another video. This video is uh, definitely not what I wanted it to be. Tonight I wanted to get the HX35 stripped off the 24 valve Cummins so that we could get it ready to rebuild it with that Turbo Lab of America rebuild kit. But I ended up getting home way too late and uh, started to dive into it, cracking all of the nuts and bolts loose on it so that I could get it freed up and hopefully get it at least pulled off the truck and ready to install the rebuild kit tomorrow first thing in the morning but when I got underneath the hood and started to break the bolts the studs free that mount the turbo to the exhaust manifold I noticed that I was actually missing a nut on one of the lower studs of the manifold and turbo so I am currently on my way to Home Depot right now so that I can pick up some new hardware to use in order to reinstall the HX35 tomorrow after we get the rebuild kit put back into it and get it freshly rebuilt uh, I need to have this hardware so that it can be installed properly and we don't have any exhaust leaks like apparently we have been riding around with for who knows how long because I don't know when I lost that nut. Since we're not getting the HX35 stripped off of the Cummins though, I do wanna to talk to you guys about something. I've been in contact with a couple of different places about getting some merch for the channel. There's three things in total that I have been kinda of wanting to do as far as merch that I can offer to you guys if anybody was interested in purchasing it. The first thing would be obviously some decals that uh, people could order and rock on their trucks, their toolboxes, whatever it was. Um, so I am talking to somebody about decals and and trying to work out a design so that I can get something ordered for those hopefully. Um, the other option, option number two, is I want to do some air fresheners that people can put into their trucks or whatever and uh, do something like that. So I am reaching out and talking to a company about trying to get some type of an air freshener made uh, for the channel that you guys could po possibly buy if you wanted to do that and rock them in your truck. And then the third option is key tags. So just like all the other automotive channels that sell the keychains, like Street Speed 717, Paradox has them. All those guys who sell those key tags and stuff, I, uh, I am talking to the guy who makes those and potentially going to go ahead and put an order in for some of them and have those available too. But I more or less wanted to ask your guys' thoughts and opinions. I know a couple people have mentioned it and asked about merch and if I had anything and said that they would be interested in purchasing some. Um, so I guess I wanted to take a survey as a whole from everybody, my whole subscriber base, and just kind of kind of feel out that situation to see if it would be worth me picking up some merch and stocking it for you guys to have the chance of buying. So clearly guys, I am a very small channel still. My channel is still in its infancy and we're, we're growing greatly. I, I am thrilled with the outcome and where we are at right now. You guys kill it with comments and likes and all that stuff and I see a steady increase of subscribers and family members joining the channel on a day-to-day -day basis, on a weekly basis, and uh, I, I couldn't be any happier. And I thank you guys so much for that. But being that the channel is still very small and like I said, in its infancy stages, uh, I, I obviously cannot monetize videos. And as you can probably imagine, with an automotive style channel like mine, it gets very, very expensive to foot the bill for parts and whether it be mods, fun parts like that, or whether it be just regular general maintenance repairs and, and stuff like that, things of that nature. Um, it gets pricey and I'm not gonna lie, it's been catching up with me tremendously lately. So I've been trying to put out content and think of things that I can do, ordering parts, trying to do what I can um, for the channel and to get videos out there for you guys. But it's coming to a point where things are gonna start to slow down a little bit with the truck because it is honestly getting to a point that I am happy with and I would be able to live with for a little bit um, before I felt the need to go ahead and try and modify it anymore or do anything crazier to it. But where the merch comes into play is uh, 
it would definitely help out in helping to foot the bill for some parts and for different mods and stuff like that. So if I were to get some merch and have a little stock of merchandise here that I could offer up to you guys and you guys are interested in it and willing to, to pick some up, it would help me out in such a huge way as far as being able to order some new things in for the truck obviously any proceeds that came from the merch would go straight back into the channel and solely back to you guys in the form of content and parts for the truck that I could film and make videos for you guys with so I just wanted to put that out there and kind of get I guess like a, a, a general survey <laughs> done and kind of see what your guys thoughts and opinions were on that I do think that no matter what uh, no matter how everybody kind of reacts to it or, or whatever it is uh, I think that I am going to work out some stuff with a couple of these places probably go ahead and put some orders in and get some stuff and when I do I will certainly let you guys know and let you know what I have available if anybody is looking to possibly pick some stuff up and try and help to support the channel out a little bit right now though I got to run into Home Depot so we can get some hardware and be able to get this HX 35 back on the truck tomorrow after we do the rebuild so uh, let's go in there and see what we can find I don't even know off the top of my head what the size is so I literally may take a 15 millimeter wrench out of my toolbox take the one off that is on the truck still bring it in match it up to something and then just uh, reinstall it quick before I head home it may just be easier to just honestly go in there and grab a handful of different things and uh, hope that one of them work who knows worst case scenario is uh, none of them work and I have to come back out here tomorrow Tomorrow after I reinstall it and drive it with three bolts on there instead of four what the hell is a couple more miles what the hell is gonna what the hell a couple well with a little help from our man Chad Meyer 73 hopefully we have the right stuff right here which I believe the nut to be an M10 by 1.5 uh, of course Home Depot didn't have any of the hardware that I would have preferred to buy I was looking for a flanged style lock nut uh, and of course every M10 by 1.5 or M10 in general were completely wiped out they had nothing um, but I lucked out and ended up finding this little pack right here that does have some M10s in it I pulled one out of here and threaded it on their little uh, bolt and nut checker thing and it checked out to be a m1015 so we're gonna bring this thing home hopefully it'll work for us tomorrow uh, worst case scenario I'm gonna throw a little Loctite on these things when I reinstall them to make sure that they hopefully don't back off or loosen up again um, just until I probably will actually go to another hardware store tomorrow and try to get myself some flanged lock nuts so that we don't run into this trouble again and I will lock tight those right to the studs so that they hopefully don't back off or loosen up and we don't lose one again but right now we're gonna get home I need to uh, wrap this video up here sorry we didn't get anything done like I planned um, sometimes you get curveballs thrown at you in life and you just you still got to swing at it and uh, knock it out of the park so I, I did what I could tonight for you guys and unfortunately uh, only thing we really got done was bought some nuts to hopefully reinstall the turbo tomorrow so let me know what you think about the merch ideas like I said I'll probably still go ahead place some orders and get some stuff in stock and I'll have that available and I'll let you know when it is available let me know what you think of the ideas of stuff that I'm thinking of getting keychains air fresheners and decals are any of those things some stuff that you guys could see yourself rocking and sporting in your trucks to support the channel let me know in the comment section down below as always leave a like on this video before you you leave if you're new to the channel stopping in for the first time hit that subscribe button join the family and I will see you guys tomorrow finally when I promise you we will get the HX 35 turbo off the truck install the HX 35 Turbo Lab of America rebuild kit and then get it back on here and take her for a long test drive to see how she does peace
I couldn't get home and totally disappoint you guys and let you guys down. So I did get back under here. Scorching hot, man. That freaking exhaust is, woohoo, is it warm right now? After I just ripped back and had to blow past a couple cars because they're driving slow, man. What is wrong with people tonight? But anyways, we got back and I busted everything free again. Everything is loose. So first thing tomorrow, she'll be cooled off. I come out here, I'll, I'll finish taking it apart, rip this thing right off, and we will jump right into the HX35 rebuild. Promise ya.